sorry, you're on your way out, but um, I do have one. I want, I just kind of want to know what, what you're working on here. Um, I know that you have been historically a volume shooter. You, you now in the NBA have been asked to do a lot more quickly off the bench. You haven't been able to shoot your way into any sort of rhythm. How are you working on, on, on that? What, what's, what's your focus here as you move into the summer? Um, just trying to be consistent, like just with shooting, just trying to be consistent. I mean, obviously I haven't, like you said, I haven't got a chance to really just kind of shoot my way in the rhythm, but I mean, I understand I just have to have a role, so be consistent, but then also just find other niches and stuff to do and try to do well, whether that's defend, whether that's just make good decisions, things like that, so. Next question is Jose Pavone. Hey, Carson, how's it going? Uh, I guess my question, what are some of the things that you've learned throughout your time in the NBA, you would say? What are some of the things that you, especially the, throughout the past year and, of course, uh, how unique it was and different, um, you know, something that you're, of course, not accustomed to. Just take me through uh, what are some of the things you've learned the, the last couple of seasons here uh, throughout your time in Boston? Um, I think, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, obviously, just the detail is part of the game. I mean, small things, whether that's like planning and, and schemes to guard certain people, but then also just, just ways to carry yourself, ways to try to be a good teammate. You know what I'm saying? Ways, ways just to be positive and just kind of through times where you're, I guess your opportunity as it came, just trying to be positive and just trying to make the most of everything. So, I mean, I mean I've mean, i learned from different aspects, whether that's on the floor or off the floor, just kind of just being around some guys that's been around the league and been through ups and downs, so. Next question is from Bob Schron. Thanks, Jeff. Hi, Carson. Hi. Hi, how you doing, man? Uh, Carson, uh, with all the with the changes and with Ime coming in and, uh, you know, Kemba was a great teammate having departed. Uh, do you see this as an, with, with the changes, do you see this as an opportunity to uh, make a, a stand, so to speak, in your career? I mean, you've had a great mindset in terms of being able to expand your role from day one. Uh, how do you look at this, all these changes that have gone on? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I just look at it as an opportunity. I mean, I'm just hoping I can just be able to compete and just try to prove that I belong on the floor or just deserve a chance. But at the end of the day, I mean, whether that's whoever I'm going against, I just kind of use that as an opportunity to just try to get better and try to improve and try to, I guess, prove myself in a sense. So just going every day and just trying to be the best I can and try to get better every day. So we'll just see what happens. Tim Bontemps. Carson, sort of along those lines, I was curious what your initial conversations with Ime have been like and kind of, you know, as you've gotten a chance to get to know him a little bit, what do you think he'll be like as a head coach? Um, honestly, I haven't really talked to him. Uh, I mean, I, other than just kind of congratulating him on getting the job, but then also he's been busy, I mean, overseas and stuff, but I haven't really talked to him. So, I mean, I know he's a good coach. He's played in the league and, and things like that. So I know he knows the game. So we'll just see what happens, but hmm. Last question, Carson, is from Abby Chen. Hi, Carson. I'm just curious how difficult it has been to maintain your confidence, and especially someone like you who's known as a shooter, um, to maintain that when you're on the floor, and how are you viewing this opportunity on Summer League, in Summer League? Um, I think it's been tough, but I think that's a, uh, I think that's a skill you kind of had to have have to have in the NBA is just being able to believe in yourself and continue to have confidence when when people say negative things about you and you don't get an opportunity or you know what I'm saying just things like that but just that's just a skill I feel like you have to have and it hasn't been easy but I'm continuing to work on it continue to work on my game and stuff like that but I mean in a sense I'm just excited to be able to play just get up and down and, and play some basketball it's been a while since I've gotten that opportunity so we'll just see what happens but for the most part I'm I'm good and I'm just keep working so that's all I know so very much, Carson. Appreciate your time. Thank you.